What up, everybody, and welcome to the FB and Goop Show. I am FB. Hey, and I'm the Goop. Sponsored by everybody's little favorite dive bar with new tables in the back at 125 North Livermore Avenue, Livermore, California, the Good Time Tavern. How's the Goop? Uh, the Goop is feeling sporty today. Went outside, shot, shot some hoops. It was uh, really? beautiful weather in California. Very nice today. Uh, yeah, very nice, yeah. But we're not here to talk about that. I'm excited to talk about Kalen Clark and uh, playoffs of the hoop and puck variety. But yes. I believe, first of all, we have to start out with uh, Scheffler, Shoffley, Sheriff's shots of the day. We got to go to the PGA Championship. And what'd you we make do. of that whole crazy weekend? It was the best thing of the weekend. It really was. That The golf was, that was the best television of the week. Sorry to say, the the NBA ending, we don't want to talk about. So let's talk about that golf, man, because that golf started out, started off with a bang. It really did. I mean, 62, 62 on Thursday. 62. That's, that's a good start. Friday comes along. Scheffler kills a cop, um, goes to jail, comes out and still maintains himself. I thought Scheffler, after all that, still maintained himself after having a baby three weeks ago. I think Scheffler did a, you know, it didn't finish well. well. Killed a cop. That's, <laughs> I'm just saying that was the exaggeration. Oh, no, yeah, I'm not a crook. Yeah, he didn't kill a cop. I mean, apparently the cop no, tried but, to kill himself. But that was the craziest. The golf was awesome. I mean, obviously the course was a little shitty, uh, it rained. So, I mean, it was just plug and play, and the, the pros just destroy those courses. But, yeah, the, the Saturday thing where they wouldn't let the, uh, the tour pro in or, you know, the number one player in golf into the tournament. Yeah, the and then king of golf. Was, yeah, uh, I, I think someone said it might have been FB that uh, – the cop's name was a uh, Oscar Shafle. Yeah, I think a... his name, I believe the officer, the arresting officer's name was Oscar Shafle, of the yeah. um, you know, correct. <laughs> not, not a Scheffler fan. No, not, fan. not he was more of a Shafle fan. Yeah. So, uh, shout out to Xander because he held it every day till the end and took the and won it, shooting six. What did he do? 62, 65, 68. What? Awesome. Six under. Six under on Sunday. Six under on Sunday. And, so and the two the two birdie putts, including the last one that was a classic. It was like, right. is it going in? I don't know. Oh, it, it's it, in. It he is. Does win. Uh yeah, shout no. out to Bryson Shambeau for not being Bryson to shambles and 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 showing up in the last two days of it and and making it interesting. When you started Sunday, you had seven people within two of the lead. Oh yeah. My my boy Morikawa kept throwing body blows, and then Sunday he just took his gloves off and forgot his putter. I believe he uh, made not one birdie and shot even par 72. Yeah, that's a boring round. That is the most boring round of somebody who was tied for the lead at 15 under on Sunday morning. He literally yeah. shot a 72, the most boring round in golf. Yeah. He's like disappointing for the Cal bear, but yeah, all in all, just like, it's a crazy tournament with the cop thing and the minus 20 and you know, yeah. since Xander's only 30, he's got a, no, I, I think Xander, I, I, or as every time I look on the TV, I go, when did Mo become a golfer? <laughs> so, but no, I, I think that he's got a lot of, he's got a, he's got a few more wins in him. You know, you, you want to give him a, you want to say, wow, this guy could win 10 or 15, but we said the same about Jordan Spieth and we would love to see Jordan win another one. You know what I mean? So, I mean, it's, it's hard to, we don't yeah. see the Tigers anymore. Even Rory took off with a passion and we're waiting for Rory yeah. to win something again. You know what I mean? Yeah, he, so he finished twelfth. Yeah, right. And he won the last two events. So we're thinking he's got something going. Twelfth. He didn't even fight for it. You know? What I mean, it was like, all right. So yeah, you know, these guys are good. <laughs> yeah, right. Is it that everybody is that good, or there just are no more Tiger Woods, Jack Nicklaus? I, I feel Arnold like everyone's Palmer. having like a one-year zone where, like, for one year they're just on it. And then whatever spicy new diet or swing thing they have involved just, you know, goes off kilter a little bit. And then maybe yeah. they a cheeseburger or whatever. And then. I guess. I don't think we'll ever see a tiger run. I don't ever think, you know, I mean, I, you know, 
Scheffler's having kids and being a dad. And I, you know, sometimes that takes away from the zone of killing tiger waited a little long, you know, he killed and killed and killed and killed and killed. And then he married some weird chick, had a couple kids. That shit didn't last that long. And well, you gotta think about killing. it. You gotta think about it these days, especially for golfers. I mean, all these guys are making tons of money and um, let's see here. Their kids, what do their kids have to do? Uh, go to college, be on the golf team, play golf. Play golf, play golf. So you've got like 900 of these super rich kids that are sons of golfers that have all the opportunities in the world. Oh. And instead of the one Tiger Woods who came from what, half nothing and half whatever. I nothing. mean, just nothing. He nah. came from nothing. He had a father yeah. who had, he had a father who pushed him to be <laughs> what he needed to be to be better vet, than him. Right? He was the war vet, right? He was. Yeah, right the, well, like you get a lot of those. Shaq's dad was a war vet. I mean, you know what I mean? You get a lot of those general. Well, not Shaq's real dad, but the stepdad was the right. actual army guy. So, but it was still <laughs> it was still a general that led him to be the general he became. You know what I mean? And that's yes. not, I'm not sponsoring the general's insurance, but yes, I am. If you need good insurance, try the general. <laughs> um, sponsored by the good time to have. Sponsored by the good time to have. That'd be sick. Did we triple it... sponsor something? Yeah, did we just triple sponsor something? That's so. awesome. All right. Well, listen, uh, golf was great. Um, we got what? So Tiger didn't make the cut. That's probably going to be common for now on. For Phil couldn't hit a fairway. The old yeah. guys are done. The old guys are done. The old guys are done. Hail yeah. the new guys. I think Tony Finau is our last hope for a major. For all the old guys. For all the old guys, is Tony Finau? I think so. I seen I seen Rose out there. Rose is well, still a yeah. He you know, he's competing. He's competing. He's competing for old yeah. dude. He's competing. That's you know right. what I mean? We were when they said his name, I thought to myself, "Damn, Stone and I were talking about the that dude in 1998." Mm-hmm. <laughs> a long time ago. Uh, so good for him. Hey, you know who is also brand new in their sport? Kaylin Clark. Oh shit! Is she? That's is. right. Yeah. And uh and I felt like she learned something, but at the same time, she might have showed her true athleticism because against the Liberty, she did t- she did that turnaround right into the chest, fall to the ground. Holy shit, that was a nice block. <laughs> against the Suns, she alerted to the fact that shit, that lady's setting up to kill me again. At the same time, she twisted her ankle trying to stop. <laughs> so it was like <laughs> but she did and this is i saw it she looked up and went not again bitches you know what i mean and went oh shit my ankle <laughs> she went to the ground but she did she was like fool me once shame on me fool me twice fuck my ankle you know what i mean <laughs> she went to the ground i was like oh shit Fair but, enough. but she came back out you know she she hit a you know uh, you know listen i think being on the indiana fever there's i mean Seems like Listen, it's just... I, 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 I told you, you think it's going to be a season long thing. I said it's going to be 16 games. I don't believe you. Until he figures it out. And honestly, after four games against two, they played the Suns and the Liberty two times a piece. That is pretty unfair for a rookie to come out against two top ten, top five defenses right away. I mean, that's unfair for anyone to ask. And so okay. I think she's well on her way. Her second game against the Liberty, she figured out some things. 22 8 and 6 isn't nothing. He's probably no, the that's third. not nothing. That's how many rookies coming out in the pros going twenty two and eight in the third game? Sure. So I, I'm still sticking by my guns. I think uh, she's going to play some easier teams soon. You're going to see her put up forty one day, and then everyone will change their tune. Colin but... Coward said that they should um they should Ooh, learn how to Colin adjust. Coward. I know Boo <laughs> Colin Coward, but he said something that was interesting. He said that maybe the WNBA should have set the schedule up a little better in favor of having their superstar, maybe generational. Uh, we, I've never seen it, a WNBA stadium packed. Yeah, that's why Colin Coward's a, an idiot. I mean, well, shit like I mean, that. I mean, you know, oh, let's uh, fix some things, but let's not fix other things. Come well, on, listen, Colin but if Cowan, they could have started off against like. Defense. You know, if they could have started off against, say, 
a team not as good as the Liberty in the <laughs> You can't do that. You can't do that. That's not the way they set up the schedule unless it's NBA on Christmas Day. That's the only time they set up things on purpose. Well, for Caitlin Clark, maybe we could have done some NBA Christmas shit. All right. Fair enough. Maybe for saying. the Knicks, maybe for the Knicks, they could have made you healthier or robots or something. You know what? I don't want to talk about it, to be honest with you. So, if that, listen, excellent season. If we would have not been depleted to the, like nothing left, I, I oh, yeah. think we, I think we'd still be in it. I think we would have beat the Celtics tonight. I said it. If Randall was still there, we would have ran the Celtics for the, the whole seven games, and there would have been maybe the Knicks winning it. But when you lose Brunson and everybody else is gone and you're just now just like, who's starting? Deuce McBride. We got Jericho Sims. We got, uh, yeah. All right. Game's over. Move on. <laughs> so I hope the Knicks don't make too many mistakes in the off season. And um, I'm excited for next year for the Knicks. All right. So the Pacers who beat you guys and also beat the Milwaukee Bucks, uh, both Pretty impressive. Very, deep, very depleted teams. Both. When they beat him. Giannis um, out. Yeah. Right. Middleton was banged up. Yeah. The banged Knicks. Up. Hart was dead. OG and OB played four minutes. So, I mean, Brunson the fractured Bay- his hand. moved on to Boston. And I, we just watched game one, but this is basically a preview of the series. Uh, game one's a good starter for the preview. Boston survived. And I, I didn't, I didn't give Indiana a chance. I thought all these ESPN guys were a joke saying that Indiana is going to come in and not, Tatum Brown and Drew Holiday aren't going to make a like mockery of them. And so I was wrong in game one. It was a game went to overtime. Honestly, Indiana should have won it. So does Indiana have a chance? I guess is what I'm asking. You. After, after we, after knowing what we know now, they lost the game. They should have won. How's their psyche? Uh, you know, 23 year old point guard, first time in the playoffs. Like where are they at? Well, when Brown, when Brown tied it with just, seconds to go oh my god that shot was incredible i thought to myself well the celtics have now probably won this game it's at home and they probably should have dominated this game and i think that's going to carry over more for the celtics than it will for the pacers i really do i feel like that that victory will carry big for the celtics because by the slimmest of margins well because that victory would have carried for the pacers that would have been, would have been a uh, monstrous you'd never, you'd never be able to get to shut up to Halliburton if you'd have won that game. Monstrous. So now that it flipped a switch on a three-point shot by Jalen Brown with like seconds left to go in the game to tie it to put it in the overtime. Over and that Siakam, I don't want to foul you. And yeah. So yeah, he could have fouled him there. And he would have had to shoot three. You know, free or throws. I mean, he could have tried to block the shot and maybe foul. Anything. Maybe not. Put his I mean, hand in his face. Can. So yeah, put a hand up. You don't go like a, this. Put a hand up. You know, somebody said they were playing too close. If they were out further or closer to the basket, then he could have ran and jumped, and then the hand could have been a distraction. But I was like, well, you still could have put a fucking hand up. I don't want to. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> he could have so, done this. Yeah, he could have done this. <laughs> so do and do I think the pace? Long, do I don't think the Pacers have a chance now. No, just, I just, don't think they did. And after today, I thought they would, but now that they're still not. If they had a one, they would have had a chance because they could have gone home and done what everybody's done in these series, and that's won games at home. So, right. so no, I think series, it out. Listen. The other series is going to be crazy. I'm so excited for the other series. I can't wait, actually. The West is in fire. I really want to see Celtics, Timberwolves, at Minnesota, and Minnesota just sh- shit all over them. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's really what I want to see. So, but let's not let Luca and Kyrie Irving not get their time because Correct. Luca's played lights out in this playoffs. He's played at an unbelievable level. He's what points, rebounds, and assists, right? I mean, what sure. he does. And, and he's injured. He's doing it hockey player style. He's like doing he's it hockey got half an ACL right now. Right, not Bill Russell, not for two minutes on the court. I'm just going to be out there for 44. That's full-time. Full-time, uh, overtime. So. No, yeah, much much props to OKC, They're, but we're going to see them for a long time in this Final Four. So I good, agree. Yeah, so good up to Kyrie and Luka and the big guys, the new big guys, Pajamas Washington. 
had it's a fantastic, Washington. <laughs> had a fantastic couple of games. He's he's almost sneaking into the big three there. You're like, guys, I keep hitting threes. Can I be in your your be your big three? And so, like, that's the big matchup. Like, Minnesota's big, and Dallas got these three big guys. I yeah, like the for, kid from Duke. I know you hate him, but. Yeah, not lively. I, I mean, I love him as a player. I hate him as an individual. <laughs> he went to the wrong school. Fair enough. I'm going the opposite of what most people say. Most people love him as a person, but you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, anyway, no, I, yeah, I'm the, in. Um, the big guy battles are going to be fun. The old guy point guard battle is going to be fun. You got Mike Conley. Mike Conley Ty is Derby. one of my favorite players in basketball, man. I love Mike Conley, man. I, Mike Uncle Conley Drew versus Grandpa Conley. Grandpa <laughs> Conley, who played with one of my favorite basketball players in Chocolate Thunder. So Tim Jackson, uh, Randolph. <laughs> nice. I was so, just thinking of the Ohio State player, my dad. No, no, Kentucky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So listen, no. So I love Mike Conley and I think have, I, th I think the return of Conley has helped them so much. And I think that's what probably turned that. I mean, the Joker is no longer in the conversation. It's weird not to talk about Denver after three or four years, just always joking. Always there, you know? So, and, you uh, know, so, and he you was say he likes horses more than basketball. So that's fine. He does like horses. He wanted to be a horse athlete. Yeah. He's Whatever a that is. Out. A horse he's elite. He's out. He's out. No, <laughs> no, listen. He's got. He's dominating. He's got one or two more rings in him. He's kind of a Tim Duncan kind of deal. You know what I mean? He'll be back. Yes. Yes. I'll yes. give me some draft thoughts, but yes. Uh, no, I mean, honestly, with Conley at the point guard and Jaden McDaniels from Minnesota on defense is. He's like Tayshawn Prince 2.0. And you know what Tayshawn did for Detroit? They guys beat the won Lakers. championships because of Tayshawn. They shut down Kobe Bryant with Tayshawn Prince. So, yeah, they this Jane McDan McDaniels is a real deal on defense. I'm excited to see him against Luka and Kyrie. It's going to be so fun. We didn't even talk about the main guy. <laughs> we didn't even Edwards. talk about the Jordan and the Pippen of the team. We talked right. about every other player on this team who we think these guys are going to contribute. But yet Jordan and Pippen, we didn't even have to mention their names. We didn't have to talk about the Ant-Man. We didn't have to talk about Carl, Carl Anthony Towns. Yeah, the cat and the ant. Huh? Cat and the ant, man. I'm just saying right now. They are the Jordan and Pippen in this thing right now. I I don't give it to Luca and Kyrie. I don't. I I don't. Tatum and Brown are the weirdest two combo in the whole world. I'm the, there is right. nothing to they, compare they them to. They should be. They but should they both, be. They both turn over the ball and can't dribble. <laughs> yeah, right. So they're not. So it's like, all right. And then the Pacers are too young, and they just keep beating teams with injuries. So yeah. I think the Celtics are going to run in the, the beginning of the year. Though the Pacers won like. 20 of their first 21 and then Halliburton got hurt no listen like we talked about this that is kind of a weird land. thing I forgot I, about that they were like unbeaten for a while in the beginning and they've got good players yeah. to put around them I don't know so yeah so fun series is I'm more excited about the west oh uh, way my, more. Favorite, my favorite matchup probably <laughs> is back on the east Peyton Pritchett versus TJ McConnell <laughs> And the the backup point guards for the Celtics. Yeah, I was like the two backup guys that come. The on. two six foot white boys. The two six can that Pacers guy, man. Can you play against another six foot white boy that plays hard? You know what I mean. It's going to be a. I'd, I can't wait to see those two go go at it. Well, the dude on the Pacers, the instant he gets the ball, he's attacking the hoop, man. That guy's trying to score the basket. I'm like, go for it, man. Right. And Pritch the opposite. Man. He's just trying to shoot threes. Yeah, no, the other dude's not. He's like underneath the basket, juking both ways, it, trying to fun. throw it up. I want to see him guard each other. All right. Oh, there you go. There's the highlight. So Goob's highlight is the two backup white point guards for the Celtics yeah. and the Pacers. Nice. Right. And then the other series, it's the starting point guards. Old old man grandpa Conley versus Uncle Drew. Kyrie right. Irving. Which is a good matchup. That is um, a good matchup. Like I said, if I, I I'm picking, I'm picking Celtics Timberwolves. It's what I want to see. I'm saying see. Kyrie's got something in his eyes that I haven't seen since the Golden State year. But I, yeah, Celtics Dallas is my pick. 
Well, shout out Kyrie because he tied Robert Ori for the um, most game seven closeout. Like, you know, like, oh, yeah, won. Apparently, apparently you don't want to get Kyrie in a game seven because he's a uh, vicious. So, well, we didn't yeah. want to see Robert Ori in game seven either with six three pointers in the fourth. Big quarter. shot, Bob, baby. Big shot, Bob. God damn it, Bob. Another three pointer. <laughs> At the buzzer. Yeah. Yeah, right. So yeah, so he just he just tied Big Shot Bob. So you don't want to go to Game Seven with Kyrie, because nope. that would be fifteen and zero. Yep. He don't lose. So, um, no NBA is exciting. <clears throat> I'm uh, I'm excited for it. Listen, we were gonna go MLB, but let's just go NHL, because yeah, because you know, I mean, playoffs so are playoffs. Exci- playoffs are playoffs. Let's do it. I know. Let's let's in show change format NHL. NHL. Rangers, Panthers. Damn. Right. I, Top I two win teams either way. The, Top two teams in the East all year long. Yeah. And now they're there. And FB gets his way. <laughs> either either his given team or his chosen team. <laughs> right. My given team or my chosen team. What do I do? So yeah. Right. I mean, well, honestly. Cr- who do you Chris predict? Kreider's, well, Chris Kreider has become a beast for the Rangers. You know what I mean? He's yes. been with them for so long. He's like, he's monstrous. He's kind of like a winger version of Mario Lemieux right now. If he, you know, downgraded Mario's actual stick skills a little bit. But Kreider's playing that amazing. I mean, so it's Rangers and Kreider, Panthers and the stingiest defense in the East all year. And they seem to like they seem to own the Panthers. They they beat them three times this year, but it was all close. So we're saying good good uh good series to come. Have we played saying, a game yet? Yeah. I'm saying Panthers if they could contain Kreider, but it, it looks like Kreider, who scored like two goals in the last minute to win the last game, is going to be on one. Mm. When hockey players get on one, they're hard to stop. Yeah, well, you know, when hockey teams get on one, they're hard to stop. So this is a this is a definitely a sport of momentum. Hockey, yeah, for sport sure. of momentum. Yeah, for <laughs> no, sure. Was that Spanish or you just have a great accent today? I <laughs> just today my accent is flawless today. I feel the you, Roger but I, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just coming off strong today. I think it's just how I'm going today. Uh, so oh. yeah, so Rangers, we have Rangers coming out of this. I do not. I have Florida. They've owned them before. They're. Uh... They might be the one team in the East that's more physical than the Rangers. So but then yeah. you're so you're saying my chosen team. I'm saying the team the yeah, that you've picked. I'm saying the Panthers will uh assert their physicality on Kreider, slow him down a little bit, and do it like one of those grindy out two one games all the time, which you know, no one likes to play. Yeah, but that's what good hockey's about, grinding it out two one. So hey, that's where you gotta win, that's where you gotta win. Go in the West. In the West. The West. It's going to be goals, 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 baby. We got Connor McDavid in the Dallas Stars. Oh, really? Okay. Or McDavid in the Oils, Oilers versus the Stars. Right. So we got Edmonton versus the Stars. Dallas. Right. Edmonton, classic series against Vancouver. Great games. Every game. McDavid with a clutch game seven goal. Lots of key saves. Uh, Dallas. Kind of. Well, they had to go through the last two Stanley Cup champions on the Western side. So they had a rougher road, kind of. But they've just been destroying people. They have uh, Edmonton's number, I think, this year. Uh, everyone says Dallas. Depth, depth, depth. So it's depth against superstars. But if you look at their plus minus over the year, it's like, we've scored 386. We've scored 387. We've given up 236. We've given up 237. So it's like super even. I That's couldn't imagine even. a better... Yeah, that, that's way even. <laughs> He's a, yeah, it's super even, <laughs> like almost identical. It was one one way and one the other way. Yeah. <laughs> like, Honestly, so. you could almost give the edge to Edmonton because they fired they got the coach. superstars, right? Yeah. So they, yeah, they fired the coach after ten games, which they had like zero points or something. So they've been better since game ten. Wow. All right. Than everyone. So you're saying if the know, new I'm coach would have been there, they would have been close because Dallas won the Presidents, right? Yeah, Dallas, Dallas number- was the yeah Dallas was the Presidents Cup trophy most points in the league. Most points in the league, same as the Bruins last year. Yeah. Right, except so this time, nah, this time hockey's got four of probably the five best teams in the league. Actually, well, made we got it. one and two. 
Yeah. I mean, it's kind and- of exciting. Normally, you just throw a ghetto team in there in hockey just, just to make it fun. But this year, we and have four really good teams. Not a lot of injuries. It's going to be spicy. No, they don't fight really, though. It's not as spicy because nobody wants to get penalties and points and ejections. And hey, it's not, NAS- it's not NASCAR, bro. Nothing's NASCAR. <laughs> Man, an all-star race, they will pick the shit out of each other. That's insane. That's what racing's about, bro. You don't love racing like I love racing. But in the all-star race, they will knock people out, punch fathers in the face. Big defensive like ends a- from Northwestern will push people out of the way, <laughs> slam them to the ground. Yeah, um, it's like a business picnic gone wrong. Uh, boring race. Uh, much shout out yeah, and no, respect. No points for no points for Busher, so we didn't care. Did we even race? I don't even know. You guys, you guys race one of the most respectful ten lap endings i've ever seen in a race because you probably should have wrecked kyle larson but there's no points involved so you guys just that's what i'm saying save it for the points save it for the points so you guys, you guys fighting over a million dollars million dollars yeah well <laughs> i mean stenhouse didn't like it he punched bush in the face <laughs> million yeah, dollars is a million dollars like, motherfucker I think, I think stenhouse was like what are you gonna do about it he went he went what am i gonna do about it <laughs> he did. I'll punch you right in the face. Now you know. And knowing yeah, is half the battle. Know, I'm do that. <laughs> yeah, right? So yeah, listen. Good fight. Uh, boring race. Too respectful. No points involved. Congratulations to Joey Logano for becoming yep. a million dollars richer. Yo, is Daytona next week? Um, no, no, you got to get to July for Daytona to go to the Pepsi or to the night race. So, um, I forget, I forget what next week is, but, uh, I I will short what next week's race is and to be excited about it because Mr. Busher needs a win. I need a win. And after that professional racing you did on Sunday there in the all-star race, not wrecking Kyle Larson, who just, it was though that last 10 laps with just those two guys was the Arma, most entertaining point, part of the I'll whole fucking it. race. Is yeah. it, wreck them. I kept telling them to wreck them. Fuck it. It's the all-star wreck them. <laughs> I mean, yeah. No, whether it's uh karma or brownie points, we'll take whatever we can He's get. got it coming to him. So someone can give us a win sometime in the next month and a half. Yes. I think you're going to get it. Um, Football. What do we got? You got anything for football for me? I got well, OTAs. I, I like I everybody. Everybody here. showed like up. We got Packers Niners on the schedule. I saw that. Packers Niners, uh, Packers Rams. Yeah, we're in that division this year. I'm yeah. excited for that. Love to play. I loved uh, what gives us a, a, a in the year game to where we can give each other shit and then uh, wonder what's going to happen in the playoffs. Right. Yeah. Well, we know what's going to happen in the playoffs. Yeah. No, we don't. It's different. It's I don't feel the same anymore. No, I know. It used to feel like we don't have a defense and Aaron Rodgers can't beat the Niners, but now I'm like, yeah, new shoes, new, new, new boots on the ground. That's right. Owen one. Jordan Love Owen one. <laughs> All right. Yeah, no, the Niners. Right now schedule, he's Owen one. <laughs> the Niners schedule looks easy. We got at, at Green Bay, at Buffalo. All, all the good teams we play are at home, Kansas City. And so, yeah, we're going to go like 15 and two, probably. I heard the Steelers uh, have like the worst schedule in the history of football. Apparently they have to play all nine games after Thanksgiving, like away from home against division rivals or the chiefs or the dolphins or the (laughs) like Niners. I don't know. Well, from what I understand, Packers schedule was rated um, top two, three hardest schedules in football, starting with the Eagles in Brazil playing the Niners and the Rams playing, you know what I mean? Like the Lions, the Vikings. Honestly, you got lucky Rams, Cardinals, and Falcons or Seahawks aren't going to be that good. They're not. They're up and coming like you were a couple years ago. But, I mean, Kyler Murray. Are we now, though? What are we now? Geno Smith. Uh, I mean, you're... We're going to be Super well... Bowl champions is what we're going to be. <laughs> I don't know what you are now. You're whatever Jordan Love says you're going to be, which losing to the Niners every year in the playoffs is what I what that I'm. That was what Aaron Rodgers did, not Jordan Love. He was oh. his first time ever in the playoffs. 
and just lost to you. It's not I'm like just we're, saying, we're, continue we're to trying to get him used to it. You're trying to get him used to it already? Yeah. I think he's going to dominate you guys. I think it's going to go back to the Brett Favre era here very soon. And I mean, it's just me. I just have to be happy about it until it happens. And then when it happens, I can be sad and optimistic at the same time. So, you know, how it goes either way. I'm always I knew you for living, a long time of optimism. So living the Vita Loca, baby. Uh, uh, everybody showed up for OTAs for you. Uh, pretty much. Bosa was there, which is a surprise. McCaffrey was not, which was not a surprise. Apparently, he's getting married or divorced or having a threesome on a beach somewhere. Probably I don't really divorce, care what McCaffrey's probably doing. Probably divorced right two threesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Either way. So now everything looks fine. Girl. We've got a few people coming back from injury: Shavaris, uh, Hufanga, and um, amongst others. Ayuk wasn't there, but we didn't expect him to be there. <laughs> no. No, Debo was there. Debo was there. Uh, Juwan Jennings was the other one, wasn't there, but he's also one of those. He hasn't signed his extension yet. <laughs> All right, tell, tell yeah, Juwan. Yeah, we're fine. We're for Brandon Ayuk to sign his extension. <laughs> I didn't hear any rookie news, and that's all I'm looking forward to. So not not much. All right. Um, I got uh, we ninety nine point nine percent of the camp was there. Uh, Stokes and Watson looked the healthiest. The healthiest. They have looked in two years, running wise, just physically. And uh, Egbenar, Egbon, Egbon Bar, what is his name? Egbon Bar. Wow. He's uh not a torn ACL. He's back. He's playing well. And um, yeah. No, it means yeah, nothing. We'll, we'll we'll find out this whole week. We actually get some rookie reports and stuff like that. Yeah, I want to see some of my rookies challenge these last year cornerbacks and safeties and take the position from them yeah I that's what i want from, i want the too. kid from georgia just to go in there and say who was last year's first guy because i know they got xavier but i'm gonna be the guy next to xavier so what's your name yeah you're out of here fucko you're gone i you don't even exist anymore right man. yeah exactly yeah i want those rookies to come in and take their and and, and put their dominance uh, the uh, the kid from the offensive line for the packers i'm not too sure if i uh care you know what i mean because our offensive line was so good last year i think that he could get a year of just learning you know what i mean and not be pushed in the trenches and get his ass kicked since we only gave up like nine pressures last year so like not too worried i know i know your offensive line sucks mine's better so you know and then we took an offensive lineman in the first round which it made it better so it was like weird but you know any performers of the week there buddy I know you want to say show you of Tani, but you shouldn't. That's my guy. I, th I think we missed baseball. So I'm going to, I got two baseball performers of the week. Oh, we, we did miss baseball. We got, I got it. You went to NASCAR right away. And then I ended the show. Oh, I went to NASCAR. Let's check the tape. Sad man. Sad man. Throw a red flag. Where's the red flag? Throw the flag. <laughs> no, I, I do have performers of the week and they are in baseball. Uh, honestly, how about them Kansas city Royals? Honestly, they're over 30 wins already out of nowhere. If you do check the big big board here, you can see that the, the Royals are making moves. <laughs> and also know? the A's. The A's are also making moves. They're yeah, going down. Because the Astros want to fly out. The A's are going down. Yeah, the A's are going backwards. Royals, though. Right there. Hey, Yankees! Yankees took a Yankees took a little uh, jump on the o Orioles there. They're up by a game and a half or so. Yeah, they're, game and a half. They're... Um, one of the only teams sitting with 30, 30 some odd wins, thirty three. Right. They're actually yeah. second. I believe the Dodgers are thirty three wins, and yeah, we're all chasing getting... those fucking oh, Phillies. Indeed, this is all going to get messy here. I think the Guardians sitting at thirty two wins kind of wowed me. Can you give me any reason why the Guardians would be sitting at 32 wins there, uh, Mr. Goop? Well, I mean, I'll be honest. I drafted three of their players for my fantasy baseball team. Okay. Uh, Jimenez, Jose Ramirez, who's probably in his last good year, so I got him at great value. And uh, they just seem to develop pitching. And since they lost a bunch of pitching last year, I figured they'd develop some new pitching guys. So it's, uh, it's not unlike the Tribe to develop these new pitchers, have a nice run. But they are young. They probably haven't had this any workload. And by the end of the year, well, I mean, their division sucks, so they might still be there. 
Well, I mean, would they, I mean, are you uh, so 30, 32 wins, man? That's like, wow. You told me in the beginning of the year, oh, well, they're playing the A's and the, you know, all the week schedule, but we're past that now. Yeah. Five in a row against non A's and non A's, non. So I'm like, well, again, I mean, I mean, Diamondbacks did the same last year. Kind of nice little strong start. A lot of youth faded for a month and a half, two months, and then came back and made it to the World Series, only to lose to the Rangers. So uh, interesting seeing the Guardians at 32 wins. I was like, and still, like, I was like, well, hey, yeah. Stowe, they're not playing the Royals children. Are hot on our tail. It's crazy, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, you're not playing the children anymore. Still 32 wins. Somebody is like, wow, good for you guys. Uh, Philly's on fire. 35 wins caused a lot of controversy in my fantasy football league. Um, I don't give a shit <laughs> if your daughter who can barely tell what's going on sees a game. But you know what I'm saying? I'm just like, fuck Phillies. Fuck the Phillies. That's all I got to say. Uh, and the Giants, actually, only a game behind the Padres for second place. I think we. I thought we passed them. Did you? I, I have you at a game, and I have you a game behind. So it would have oh, to yeah, be a total win loss tonight by both teams. That's right. We passed the Diamondbacks, and today O'Neill Cruz hit two balls at 120 plus miles an hour, which blew my freaking mind. For the Pirates. Pirates won seven six or else the Giants. The Giants are on a run, man. Honestly, gotta oh, talk that's about what I'm their saying. I mean I gotta didn't... talk about their youth. They finally <laughs> all these young kids that I've loved for so long, you know, Elia Ramos and Luciano and Louis Matos. They finally given these awesome big stud outfielders and you know, they're getting their time and they're starting to shine. So yeah, I'm excited about the Giants. That's we could wait for a uh, looking forward to, but no, I'm looking forward to the Giants sticking with these guys. And, uh, you know, in a couple months or one month, we get a lot of pitchers back. And yeah, maybe the Giants can hang around this year. It's, it's not looking as bad as it once was. What? But O'Neill Cruz, man, he just throws the ball fast, hits the ball fast. He's insane. Go Pirates. Go Pirates. <laughs> Yeah, no, I don't know. I did notice the Giants are making their way back up. I could see them in second place. I hate the fucking Padres. I, you know, I'm probably the only Dodger fan that hates the Padres more than he hates the Giants. Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. I'm like, I just dislike the I dislike the fucking Padres. Fucking hate the Padres. Giants, Uh, I don't give a fuck about the Giants. (laughs) But the Padres, for some odd reason, I just don't like. Well, you live in the now. You live in the now. Now. I live in the now. Always, you know me. I'm the now right. kind of guy. Exactly. So, hey, sorry to baseball for skipping you. We didn't mean to. Long way to go. Um, but I mean, stolen bases are going to beat home runs. That's one thing we know for sure. Can LA he Dale get Cruz. to a hundred? Yeah, he's on pace for exactly like 99 right now. Ellie De La Cruz on his way to 100 steals, and Gunner Henderson takes the lead in home runs, but he's not getting to 100 anything. Yeah. Not getting to 100 home runs. No, 50, maybe. Nobody's getting to 100 home runs. No. Nah. No, that would that would be 22 or 21 more. What's what's the most home runs in a year? 79? Uh, 73 by Barry U.S. Bonds. 73. Okay. I, for some other reason, I thought like McGuire was 70 some, But Bonds, right? 70. So that's 27 more than a home run. Ever best ever, like if Barry Bonds can't do it, then nobody can. <laughs> so, um, yeah, let's go. LA did like well, somebody said the bases are three inches bigger now, so he yeah. gets six inches more of touchy space. The stolen base stuff, yeah, we, we talked about that, right? So, and since, and since his cruise, his uh, steps are about 10 feet long, yeah. It's, like, really going to be tough to stop that guy. Yeah. It is. It's, it's, it's fun to him. He's so fun to watch. Both the both Ellie De La Cruz and O'Neill Cruz are so fun. So, yeah, I think we're going to win on the stone base thing this year. I think this might be the year that does it. Absolutely. Because we're way last, ahead of Last year we won, too, because Acuna stole 80 of them. Right. But it doesn't happen as often. Well, since the change of baseball, it does. So the new, the new big bags, man. The new big bags and, and the no pickoff rule. That that definitely that definitely helps. That's huge. 
Yeah. Changes the whole dynamic of the game. <laughs> right. You can throw over like once or twice. That's it. Yes. All um, right. That's sports, huh? No, well, you, I, I didn't get to do my performer of the week. Oh, I still have more performers of the week, too. Oh, okay. Well, um, mine's base. I have another baseball one, which is why I'm wearing too. the Pittsburgh shirt. Paul Skeens. Did you see yeah. this guy? Dude's on fire. Fire. Uh, that dude's on fire, man. <laughs> it's right? the Paul Skeens show now. I know he's the new Nolan Ryan, my friend. The new Nolan Ryan. Wow, the Paul. That's that's wow. You're comparing him to Nolan Ryan. Well, I mean, if he was allowed to throw more pitches, which he's not. No, nah, <laughs> I cut you in the seven, keep you alive. But yeah, he'll, he'll be the sixth inning Nolan Ryan. Yeah, no. Uh, yeah, the last game at Wrigley Field struck out the first seven, eleven in total. Six eleven innings, in total, right? Yeah. No hits. Nothing. His first strikeout ended with a hundred miles an hour strikeout. His hundredth pitch was a hundred mile an hour strikeout. That's Nolan Ryan right there, baby. Headbands off to you, my friend. Yeah, right. That is Nolan Ryan right there. That's uh, what'd you Nasty. throw in your last pitch, Nolan? One oh two. Damn, was like pitch one twenty six, bro. That's insane. Well, shout right. out so to that. Yeah, shout out to that. Thing. I, I I I, I kind of followed that guy on the background just because I got a lot of notifications about him. Like, wow, this guy's this guy's killing it. First seven strikes. Eleven. This guy's wow. So in two games in a row, right? Didn't he do two things in a row? It was like two games was like uh, he was very good his first game as well. Yes. Yeah. A lot of strikeouts. He didn't have any command, but you know, he did all right. No one Ryan. It was um, raining the first day. There's a lot of excuses. First time at home, rain. Yeah. Nice. Either way, I think he's ready to roll. I really don't have any performers of the week. I Speed thought you did. Race. What about Flavor Flav? No, I'm not shouting out Flavor Flav for performers. All right, I'll do that. I'll do that next week. You do that next week. Um, uh, you know, uh, Xander Shopley led the whole PGA Tour Championship. He led every every day he played, he led. So I'm going to give it to him because as performance <laughs> performers of the week go, that guy pretty much dominated the PGA Tour. And if you got the lead on him, he just took it back from you instead of falling to his knees. So that oh, man, that last putt that just rolled in. Bloop, 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 bloop. But it was uh, his and was, he got it. That was a that was a TV moment for sure. That was beautiful. You know, sometimes you have to have TV moments watching the Nike symbol fall in the hole on the chip from Tiger Woods. Probably not quite greatest... that, but it was good. It was good. I mean, it's not. I mean, that's probably one of the greatest TV moments of all time. But, uh, yeah, you got to have those moments in life. So, Xander, my son starts uh, playoffs this Monday. His team only lost two games this year. I, I'm uh, I'm thinking championship. Uh, at least I'm thinking championship. I'm thinking championship. We'll we'll at least probably be playing the Cubs in a good old Benicia baseball little league. We're gonna be playing the Cubs this week, or probably in a week and a half here for the uh, uh, go bench team. Yeah, man, go Royals. Uh, it'd be cool to see him be in his first first year of majors uh, and win That's the championship. Fire. Yeah, right. That'd be that'd be cool for him. So those are my performers of the week. Next week, I'm I'm excited for a real race with points. Excellent. Where if Tyler Reddick wrecks Chris Busher, it was for points. So, give me one more time, wreck me. I'm wreck punching you next time. One, one more time to wreck me in the fucking presence. Yo, punch him in the punch him. I'm coming to Benicia. I'm just punching you. It's punching <laughs> you in your fucking face, man. So yeah, I'm excited for that, and uh, I'm excited for the boys' playoffs. I'm excited to get baseball finished to an end and also hopefully host a uh, championship trophy for the little man. You know what I mean? He's only got like one year left in baseball. I would assume because he's probably not going to go travel, probably not going to make the high school team, but it's been eight fun years of watching my kid play baseball. So cheers to that. Salud. Indeed. Uh, Salud. Yeah, I'm looking forward to next week's show and getting the Christian Pulisic team of the season EAFC 24 card, which they better give me. If they don't, I'm banning EA from everything. 
I'm joining the boycott. What do you mean? There's a boycott on EA Sports? Yeah, yeah, EFC kind of sucks right now. I'll get into it later, possibly in a short. I'm totally fucking taken back by that. And with that, I'm FB. I'm the goob. Peace. Taking it back. Taking it back. I'm taking it. I'm taking it.